All right. There's a technical issue here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, if you can, put it in the chat. Let me know if you can hear me. Because like I said, I've got a technical issue on this side. Um, I think I fixed it because the sound says it's coming through correctly. But I don't know if it's coming through on YouTube. But if you can hear me, welcome to another Monday Live. Hopefully you had a good start to your week so far. If you have got a fairy test this week or got a fairy test coming up, put your comments in the chat. Um, not comments, questions in the chat. And then... I can answer it for you while we are live. So let me just say hi to a few of you guys here. Let me come out of this one, go into this one. It's better. All right, thanks to there was a constant silent listener for two weeks. Two weeks, day and night, I had my theory exam on the 3rd of November, passed very high in theory, I got 48 or 15. Congratulations to you for passing. Thanks for coming back and let me know. Um, in the chat, please, before you sign off, let me know um, what your next steps are, whether it's going to be driving lessons or driving tests. I'm really interested to know what your guys' next path is. Hi, Behim. Um, good afternoon to you. Hopefully you are well. Laura's here. Um, hi, Laura. Hopefully you're well. Send hello to Caroline. Again, guys, I'm a... Put it in the chat and let me know if you can hear me because I don't want to be talking to myself. My level says it's fine, um, but there was an issue before we went live. Bianca, I've not seen your name before. Um, I'm assuming you, you are new, so welcome. Oh, you got your t I'm assuming you've got your test tomorrow, that's why you're so excited. Again, if you've got any questions or concerns about your fairy test, put it in the chat, let me answer it for you. And get this passed for you tomorrow. Again, come back next week and let us know how you got on as well. You guys are all talking to each other. It's nice, I love that. <laughs> We've started. Oh, that's a shame. I told her to look after herself. Not to worry. The main thing is that she's going to be okay, hopefully. Um, she can always book, rebook, but it's not going to be a big deal. Let's give her a bit more time. But yeah, send her my best wishes as well, please. Oh, Laura says she can hear. Um, hopefully the rest of you can. I am fine. I am well. Hopefully you are too. Well done, Sarah. Thanks for coming back and letting me know. I only watched two of your videos. I've missed the last bit and watched two of your videos on hazards and got 62 out of 75, which is a really, really high score. On average, it's about 54 to 57 in terms of the hazard perception. So you've got 62 well above average. Again, please put in the chat, and let me know what your next step is on um, in terms of getting your license. Whether it's gonna be a driving test or looking for the, looking to do driving lessons. Linda, hello and welcome. I've not seen your name before. So welcome, assuming you're new. My life, welcome. Bassity, I'm fine, thank you. Hopefully you are well, having a good Monday. Jamie, hopefully you're well. Driving test and lessons in Darlington. Okay. So have you started your driving lessons? Or are you just going to get a few more before you take the driving test? Welcome. Welcome. Denise, welcome. I'm fine, Denise. Um, we got a session tomorrow, right? I believe five o'clock tomorrow for the um, interview session and mock test. Hopefully you're ready for that. I 
Anna Marie, what are you struggling with? You've tried it three times. Let me know what you're struggling with and I can try and help you while we're alive. Let's get the fourth attempt. Kate, welcome. Right, what I want you to do is keep your chats coming. Didn't I throw a test and turn another 49 out of 50, well done to you, 57. Not a problem, but thank you for coming back and letting me know. Right, keep your chat coming. What I'm gonna do is do an overview. So for those of you that are new, the way this works, I always do an overview of the fairy test. I never seen that you guys know how the fairy test works. It's funny enough, two people in the YouTube comments, I was going through the comments on Sunday, one actually turned up to the fairy test, did not know that there was a hazard perception. I've got to ask myself, is how do you study for a fairy test and not know there's a hazard perception? But anyway, the obvious, the obvious outcome was a fail because they didn't know there was a hazard perception. They just thought it was 50 questions, end of. So that's why I say that there's a lot of people who don't know how the fairy test works. So I never assume that you guys do. So those of you that have seen the lives, know how it works, I apologise. Um, if you watch it on the replay, you can always fast forward, but obviously the slide, you've got to listen to me go on and on about this. So, um, simply me, welcome. Um, right, so I'm going to go through the overview quickly and then we'll go into the mock test. So it's 50 questions, multiple choice. You have a 14 category, the fairy test is made up of 14 categories. They will take questions from those 14 categories and make it into a 50 question mock test. It is random. So let's just say, for example, there's 10 of you in the room. It's going to be 10 different tests going on. It's not the same test for everyone in the room. That's the reason why I keep saying study the categories, because if your categories are weak, let's just say, for example, it's five. Sorry, road signs are your weakest category, because a lot of people are putting in the comments about road signs and motorways and you get five or six questions on, on road signs, you're struggling before you start. So that's the reason why I say study all 14 categories and then start to do 50 question mock tests. So it's 50 questions made up of 14 categories. You have 57 minutes to score 43 out of 50. You have to get 43 out of 50 to pass. You've got a total of 57 minutes. If you have studied properly, no one takes 57 minutes, but in saying that, there's no embarrassment in taking 57 minutes. If it means taking 57 minutes to pass it, take the 57 minutes. There's nothing wrong with that. Once you click off the hazard, sorry, the fairy test, I will add as well, because a couple of comments have come in um, again in the comments yesterday. Can you go back to questions? Yes. It's just if you're using the driving test assess app, it's the same. You can flag your questions on the rule test, and I would suggest you do that if you're unsure. Flag it, once you've done the 50th question, go back directly to the flagged ones and then um, re-examine the answers that you gave. So you can go back, you can flag. That's the reason why I suggest driving test success. It's pretty much like the real test, other than the questions are sampled questions and not the real questions. But once you click off the, the 50 questions, you move on to your hazard perception, which is 14 video clips. 13 of them have single hazards. You score a maximum of five, and one of them's got a double hazards, two fives. You have, you have to average at least three across the board to get the pass mark, which is 44 out of 75. If your average is below three, then obviously you're going to fail it. Um, it is possible to get a few zeros and still pass as long as you bring the average up by getting fours and fives. Ideally, you want an eight or nine on your double, it sets you on the road. And again, I will add, because this is coming up in the comments yesterday, which I noticed, there is no cursor on the real test. You are, you've got a mouse, let me just show you that. You've got a mouse and you just literally sit back and you click, it registers your click. There's no cursor, you just literally click when you see the problem, one, two, click again, if you're using the two click method. There is no trick questions. They are worded badly. So there's no trick questions. And the test is generic test. Do not go looking for answers that's personal to you, which I'll come to in a minute. And obviously you're looking for the safety options. Always gonna be, if it's got safe, safety, safely in the answer, you have to shortlist it as a possible. It doesn't always work, but you can't ignore it. 
in the classroom this morning, um, one few, well, quite a few of them, to be honest, had the obvious answer safe in the answer, and they're totally ignoring that and going for something that can't even be correct. So if it's got safe, safety, safely in the answer, you have to shortlist it as a possible answer. And if it's not a safe um, option or safe outcome, then it's going to be a controlled outcome, which is normally your uh, motorway questions and your first aid questions, which lead to a controlled outcome. And what I was saying before, don't overthink. It's a generic test. The test isn't about you. It's for every learner driver, regardless of what part of the country they're in. So you're looking for a generic answer. Once you make the test personal, you go looking for answers that's really with relation to you, which means you're probably going to pick the wrong answer. And don't add things in. Don't take things out of the question. If it's A, B, C, that's the information they gave you. That's all you've got to play around with. So that's the overview of the test. So let me just catch up with you guys in the chat. Portia, um, we're all going to be coming out of this one. Um... That's a better one. Right, uh, Portia, welcome. Okay, you got your test on Thursday. Again, if you've got any questions, concern, put it in the chat. Good luck for Thursday. Come back and let us know um, how you got on. JK, my testimony needs help with hazard perception tests. I keep on seeing the hazards too early and not get the scores. You need to watch the video on the channel, which is the hazard perception video. The last one that I did is about 18 to 20 minutes long. Um, the other thing I will say to that is if you are clicking too early, you obviously you know you're clicking too early, review the clips that you are using and try to work out where to time it. But the only thing I can say to that is watch the hazard perception video, it's going to give you a bit more information on that. Forty-nine. Wow, almost full house. Forty-nine out of fifty. Well done to you, Abby. And sixty-four out of seventy-five. Again, a high score on the hazard perception. So well done to you. Again, please let me know what your next step is on your journey to getting your license. Whether it's going to be driving test or driving lessons. Again, please put in the chat if you've got any questions, any concerns that are making you worried. Put it in the chat. And good luck for tomorrow. Let's come back next week. Let us know how you got on. Another one, Sanya, I've not seen your name before, so welcome. Um, there's a lot of you guys doing a test this week, trying to get it before Christmas or before the year ends. I will add as well. <laughs> um, I would love to. <laughs> um, I will add as well on the 18th, let me get rid of this, is my last life for the year. Um, I'm going to be setting the questions. I normally do it at the beginning of the month, the first Monday of the month, should I say, but because Christmas and the year is just really around the corner. On the 7th 18th, live, 4.30, it may go on for a lot longer than the hour, hour 20 minutes that we normally do. It all depends how interactive you guys are with that. But I'm going to be setting the questions, thought-provoking questions um, that doesn't actually come up on the theory test to make sure you guys are fully understanding it. So um, if you can, join me live on December the 18th for the last live of the year. What I might do as well, I'm thinking about it, woman and Irene, um, if you guys want to join me on the live, as in be on screen on the live, just literally just having a conversation like I am with you guys now, I may invite some of you to come and join the live. So if you're interested, send me an email um, just explaining why. Nothing too heavy, nothing serious, just a little bit of fun because it's end of year, it's Christmas. I may invite one or two of you to be on screen to host a live with me as well. So it's something I'm thinking about. But if you're interested, let me know with that. Also, remember, I'm looking for volunteers to come on the channel. Um, that's recorded. It's not live. It's recorded to go out on the channel. So if you want help with your theory, coach with your theory, then send me an email. The, the way that works is we'll, I invite you on to be recorded. We do a short interview just discussing um, your struggles, your fears about the theory test, blah, 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 what you like about it, don't like about it. And then we go into a 20 question mock test, review your answers. I'll coach you through that as well. And I will coach you beyond the video to wait until you pass your theory test. So it's going to be ongoing help. So if you are interested in that as well, send me an email. 
So those are two things. And the last comment I want to make, um, let me come back to, oops, wrong one. Um, the last comment I want to make is, thanks to you guys, get the right one up, this one. Um, thank to you, thanks to you guys, I have now been a granted official copyright access to the DVSA questions. So on Friday, on Tuesday last week, I had a meeting with the DVSA face to face um, and they've granted me copyright permission to use all their software, all the questions, all the images, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to be doing that and put it into a course form to release a course next year at some point. So I've got the official questions from the app. I repeat, it's not the questions from the theory test because nobody has that. The DVSA is not releasing that. But I've now got the official questions for the app. So I will put that into a course. So if you guys are interested in that, again, let me know if you guys are interested. So when it's released, I'll give you direct access to that as well. So that's coming next year for the channel. As I said, I'm on a mission to help as many of you guys pass this theory test um, next year. So, Faye, I missed your comment there. Well done to you for passing the theory test. Again, let me know before you sign off um, whether you're going to take driving lessons or a driving test. Got your theory test book for the next week. Hopefully it's Tuesday onwards, which means you can come back to next week's live. If you've got any questions while you're studying between now and then, write them down, come back next week, put it in the chat, let me answer it. Let's get this passed for you. Can you please run talk about the different lights on the motorway? I need to understand that. When you say different lights, what were you talking about when you say different lights? Are you talking about the studs itself? Because motorways don't have lights. So just clarify what you mean, whether you mean the studs, as in cat's eyes, or is there something I'm missing on this? Because motorways don't have lights. Right, what I'm going to do is start the welcome to you, Hab Tom. I've not seen your name before, so welcome. I'm going to start the mock test, but I'm going to catch up with your guys' comments as we go through. Otherwise, I can stay here and talk to you guys all day. Right, let me just do this, otherwise I'm going to get distracted. Right, so hopefully this week's test, I don't do the 20 questions, this is just random. Of the last two weeks, it's been really, really easy. So hopefully this is slightly more difficult. But 18th is coming where it's going to be a lot more difficult, trust me on that. Right, so for those of you that are new, the way this works is we read the question, an injured motorcyclist is lying unconscious in the road. The traffic has stopped and there's no further danger. What could you do to help? So this would be A, move the person off the road. This will be B, remove the safety helmet. C, remove a leather jacket. D, seek medical assistance. So what you need to do in the chat is put one. If you think it's A, put one A. Please put the question number and the letter beyond. The reason being there's a delay between me and YouTube, you and YouTube. So to make sure we are always on the same question and answers and I will catch up with your comments. Daniel. I wish you luck with that, Daniel. Again, come back and let us know how you get on. The case studies, if you're talking about the case studies in the theory test towards the end, they're very simple, very straightforward. Sometimes the question doesn't even relate to the case study, so be very careful you don't get caught out on that. I've actually got a video on my channel um, where I filmed all nine videos for the case studies with all the answers on there. So if you haven't done watched that already, watch that. Um, but the case studies are very straightforward and very simple. But also it's the last three questions, 48, 49 and 50. If you obviously got 45, 46 on the questions, case study doesn't matter. Because you would have, you would have already passed by then. Oh, I see you're doing HDV. 
slightly different slightly different but still the safety factor but yes that's slightly different i didn't realize that i just saw your comment um but again i wish you luck with that let us know how you get on luxon welcome you're new welcome welcome blessings welcome right what are we on we haven't started yet let's find these ones 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 right the first one is simply me 1d caroline welcome caroline Right, most of you are going for um, yeah, most of you are going the Tiana's put seek medical assistance. Um I'll read a question to the death of a danger. Remove safety helmet. No, remove direct. Yeah, it's going to be D. Seek medical assistance. Otherwise, in other words, um, phone for an ambulance. When may you drive over a pavement? So when may you drive over a pavement? Um, sometimes you're trying to, <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to pass my test. I've been getting 43, 45 on a mock test, but I want my score to go higher. Um, I'm assuming. You're saying your score, you want your score to get high before you book a mock test. If you're getting 43 to 45 on a regular basis, there's no reason why you can't book your test. Um, just because you get high doesn't mean say you're going to pass. Just because you're getting 43, 45, it doesn't mean to say um, you won't pass either. So I personally would get, I would personally book your test. Um, I keep saying the test is only going to go one of two ways. You're going to pass it or you're going to fail it. If you pass it, it's over. Happy days. If you fail it, you've got a baseline, but you can practice and practice, keep getting 43, 45, 46, 47. At some point, you've got to take it. But as long as you're passing on a regular basis with 43 out of 40, 43 and 45s, book it. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, don't ignore the hazard perception, but I've either because you haven't mentioned what score you're getting on hazard perception on that. Lessons in Birmingham. Birmingham seems a popular place as well. Well, I wish you luck with the the driving lessons, um, Faye. Now keep us updated how you're getting on with that. All right, let me just jump on the twos. Two B. Again, most of you are going for the same. Oh, I've got two B as well. Most of you, C Berries TV. C Berries TV. I've not seen that name before. Welcome. Rebecca, hello to you. Um, what was you guys going for? Two B to gain access to property. Yeah, driveway. That's the only time legally you can drive over a pavement, gain access to your property. Which is a driveway. Um, your can you guys see that? Yes, your vehicle breaks down on the motorway, and you need to call for help. Why might it be better to use an emergency roadside telephone rather than a mobile phone? Congratulations on you passing your theory test. Thanks for coming back and letting us know. Another one's just passed, just passed my theory test. You guys are passing, well done to you.
almost passed two months ago, two months away from passing her. Two marks away from passing has perception and multiple choice I was four marks away. A little bit of work needed there, but again, if you've got any concerns, put in the chat. Let's get this passed the next time out. Because you said that's two months ago. How's the studying been going since then? My first three tests, I got one mark off, passing my next one is Friday. A vinyl five, I believe I'm saying that right. Um, I wish you luck with that. Again, if you've got any concerns, put it in the chat. Exams on the 9th, which is next, it's on Sunday, right? The 9th is on the Sunday. Oh, I got that wrong. No, it's not. It's on Saturday. Wish you luck on that, SDK. Well done to you. Passed after Monday's class. 46 out of 50, 54. Appreciate your help. I'm from Glasgow. Yes, Scotland seems to be a popular place. Well done to you. Okay, let me know what's your next step. What help are you looking for with the practical test? You've got to be a bit more detailed than any help. My major challenge is fine on violation. Just clarify what you mean by that, please. That's DK. I don't know what you mean by that. My major challenge is fine on violation. Just explain what you mean by that, please. Um, right, free. Let me catch up with these guys. Free, 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 free. There we go. First one, AJR, free A. A, again, most of you seems to be going for a, I don't see any difference of opinion. How long does it take to rebook for another theory test? That depends on your area. Normally you can get a date straight away. You can't, well, let me rephrase that. You can't take one within three working days. So if you failed today, the earliest you can take one is Thursday, but you can rebook straight away if your area has vacancies but you can't take on within three working days. Right, most of you have gone for A's. Um, breakdown, it allows easy location by emergency services. It connects, use mobile, mobile phone. That's the correct answer with that one. A single carriageway road has this sign. What's the maximum permitted speed for a car turn trailer? I always say, look at the, read the question, look at the image and then go to your answer. Sometimes you can get some clues from the image. But for those of you that don't know, this is just national speed limit for the road you're driving on. Again, if you're struggling with the hazard perception, uh, if there's a video, detailed video explaining about the hazard perception. And I would suggest when you do the hazard perception, if you're using apps, review it, see how where you're clicking with is too early or too late, and then you can start to time it. That's the best way to learn from this. Most of you do has perception. If you fail it, you just go and do more clips. You need to analyze why you are not getting the score that you should be getting with. It's too early, too late. Thank you, I'd appreciate that. Hello, good to be a Mavis. Are you the Mavis in Discord? That was talking about mock test. Just let me know if you're the same Mavis.
All right, studs. Um, simple way is green. Love. Let me explain simply first. Studs is green for slip roads, red for the left hand lane, white for the middle lane, and amber for the right hand lane. There's a video on the channel which is about two minutes long. Uh, motorway studs. Watch that video. It gives you a very easy way to remember the studs. The answers in the word motorway. So if you watch that video, you should not have any more problems with studs after that. I wish you luck on, I think it is for Thursday, I believe, but I wish you luck whenever it is anyway. Right, let's do this for. Well, um, fours for, where are you? Here we are, four. Right, first one out is Caroline, 4C. Oh, difference of opinion. First one, 4B. Right, some of you gone for Cs, some of you gone for Bs. Oh, it's almost 50-50 on this. Right, some of right, more are coming through. And that's now Bs taking over. Okay, let me read the question. We've got B's and C's. B and C, 50 and 60. Single carriageway road has this sign. What's the maximum permitted speed for a car towing a trailer? Right, the way that I explained this in the classroom, because this came up today, national speed limit. Know what you can do as a car driver because you're taking a car theory test. If it's single carriageway, you can do 60 miles an hour. So when they ask about a towing vehicle or heavy goods, you just drop it by 10. So if you can do 60 on a single carriageway and they're talking about a towing vehicle, it's now going to be 50. So the answer is B, 50. Let me just repeat that. Know what you can do on a particular road. So it's going to be national speed limit for a single carriageway or a motorway or dual carriageway. So it's 70 on the dual carriageway or motorway and 60 on the single carriageway. That's for you as a car driver. When they now put car towing or heavy goods vehicle, you drop it by 10 and it now becomes 50 miles an hour on this particular answer. If it was a dual carriageway, it'd be 60. So hopefully that helps you guys out with that. At an incident, it's important to look after any casualties. What should you do with them when the area is safe? Um, so yeah, Saturday, I wish you luck with that. Take your time, read the questions very, very carefully. Um, and let us know how you get on with that. If, again, if you've got any questions that you find challenging, put it in the chat now while we are live and let me answer it for you. Went for my fairy test last week, Wednesday, 29th. November filled, 39 out of 50, multiple choice, day seven. <clears throat> but you need a little bit more work on that. Um, you got 39 out of 50, so that's 11 questions wrong, six short of passing. Right, so that's a lot of categories that you got questions wrong in. The sheet they gave you, what you want to do is look on the sheet, scroll down, and it will give you the categories you've got the question wrong in. They won't tell you the questions because it's going to be a different test when you go back the second time round. And then you want to restudy those categories. So you need to restudy those categories to get your scores up and then retake mock test. And with the has perception, that's just practice. If you're getting 30, so let me get that back up. If you're getting 37 out of 50, sorry, 37 out of 75, you need more work. Your timing's way, way off on that. So again, I would analyze your video clip to give you a breakdown, five fours, four three, so on and so on. Look how many you got under three, because that's what you want to improve. And again, you can't, you don't know what clip you got the scores in, but it will tell you how many threes, how many twos, how many ones, how many zeros. Because like I said at the beginning, you need to average more than three. And if you're getting, 
what was it, 39, your average is, no, it wasn't 39, it was 37, your average is really, really low, you're missing a lot of clips. I would imagine you've got a lot, lots of twos, ones or zeros on that, but your sheet would tell you that. And then go from there. I'm not sure what question is related to, but none of these questions are um, case studies. The case studies are videos at the end. So like I said, for question 48, 49 and 50 will be based on a video on the real test. That's what they call a case study. Um, again, I've filmed all the videos on the channel. I can't even remember what playlist this is on, but it's on there anyway. Um, so be careful with the case studies though for all of you that study. Sometimes the question doesn't really relate to the case study um, and you guys, focus on that so much rather than focus on the question right what are we on five let me get some of these fives up there we go first one out that's not a problem denise i'm sure we got an interview tomorrow um to be recorded and do your mock tests. Let me know if you can hear me, basically. Let me know if you're still on for that. Um, and I will send you the link about 15, 20 minutes before we due to go record on that. Um, AJR5C. Again, most is from first view. Most of you are going for the Cs. Hassan, I've seen your question. I'll come back to that. Right, most of you are going for 5C. Um, keep them where they are. Yeah, never move someone if the area is safe because you can cause them more harm than good that you can't see internal injuries, neck and spinal. Which vehicle should you allow extra room as you overtake them? Oh, tomorrow, um, good luck. With it. Again, please come back next week. Let us know how you get on. Again, I stress, if you've got any questions, any concerns, pull in the chat before we sign off. Let me help you get this pass tomorrow. If you talk about my videos, they're on the channel, um, Driving Ferry UK. Um, that's the way you access my videos. If you're talking about... Um, the case studies, that's just a mock test um, thing. But if you're talking about my videos, they're all on the channel. Your best bet is the playlist, Study With Me series. Um, it gives you a 20 question mock test. It's based on the desktop app, which we're using now. And the Practice Makes You Better series, which is just finished last Thursday. Um, that's based on the app itself, Driving Test Success. And that's a 30 question mock test. So it gives you a head start in terms of explaining bits and pieces. There is an in-depth, has a perception video on there and there's an in-depth case study video on there and hopefully that can help you out with that so what are we on six let's get six done right some of your fives are coming through with the sixes right i've got 60 caroline Oh, you guys are split on this. Some of you are going for B. Someone's actually gone to the trouble of trying to spill it out. Terry, your five C's just come up, come through amongst the sixes. So you got slow internet connection. Or oh, you're typing really late, one of the two. All right. 
Um, that should have been a flagged one. Uh, extra room is going to be cyclists all day long. Cyclists uh, um, got no protection, so you have to give them extra room. For those who don't wear for lorry, you can't really give lorry extra room for the simple fact that you're going to be, it does say overtaking. Yeah, overtaking. You're going to be more on the wrong side of the road if you give lorries a lot more room. If you're going to be on the wrong side of the road quite a lot, is it safe to overtake is the question you need to ask yourself. You're driving a friend's children home from school. They're both under 14 years old. Who's responsible for making sure they wear a seatbelt or approved child restraint where required? The last test I did, but I wronged. I'm assuming, Kate, you mean, right, you've taken the theory test, and I'm assuming this is a fail. This is a real test, not a mock test. Yeah, you're going to need to restudy those categories. I'm going to tell you why as well. Let's get it back up. Safety margins is a massive topic. Road and traffic science is the biggest topic on the theory test. It's 133 questions, I believe, and hazard awareness... I believe it's 77 questions. So you're actually struggling on the biggest categories on your fairy test. So that's why you're gonna to have to restudy those because that means your category knowledge for those three anyway are really weak. And like I said, most questions will probably come from those categories. So you need to restudy those. For any of you that study are struggling with these categories on here, and this is the mock test I'm talking about, safety margins, road and traffic signs, hazard awareness, and the other ones is motorway rules. They're massive topics. They've got the most amount of questions in them. So those um, topics need to be strong with your knowledge to give you the best possible chance of the theory test, um, passing the theory test. Your test is next week, Tuesday. Don't think I'm ready, especially if it has a perception. You've got two choices. Um, study more. Um, and as I said, with the hazard perception, review the videos back so you can see where you're clicking, whether it's too early, too late, and that gives you the reason why. Um, question wise, if you don't feel like you're ready as well, like I said, study more or push it back. If it was me and it's next Tuesday, I'd be pushing it back and give yourself more time. If you do it before the cancellation date, which is normally free working days before, you won't lose your fee. You just push it back rather than cancel um, and then go from there. Just give yourself more time without the stress and pressures. The best way to know is passing mock tests after mock tests, passing on a regular basis. I don't mean scraping 43s. I'm talking about you're passing on a regular basis, getting 46s, 47s, 48s on a regular and that gives you an indication. It doesn't mean that you're going to pass it, but it gives you an indication that you're ready. Also, your confidence. Um, not to ignore the has perception, your passing has perception as well on that as well. Trying to put a practical test. That's the same across the board. Um, every part of the country is struggling for tests. To be fair, if there's nothing until March, you're lucky. Um, in our era, we're talking about April. Yeah, we're talking about April at the moment. Um, my advice that I can give you is Monday mornings, the DVSA releases new test day. So it's Monday at 6 a.m. Be up early, 5 to 6, have your license ready, your um, pass certificate number ready, and the way to pay for it. And hopefully you can bag a date when they release it. Then once you've got a date, then you can try to bring it forward if it's too far back. But every Monday morning, 6 a.m., the DVSA releases new dates. So that's a way of trying to get the a date sooner than March. So that's my little tip for you. And we are on seven. Let me find you guys on sevens. There we go. Seven B, Caroline's gone B. So again, most of you from first look is seven, uh, seven, it's B. Yeah, most of you have gone for Bs. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, you, the driver, and you're responsible for anyone age 14 and under. Um, <clears throat> this is beyond the driving test. Once you pass the driving test, just make sure everybody wears a seatbelt. Don't care how old they are, um, just in case something goes wrong somewhere along the line. What, why does this junction have a stop sign and a stop line on the road? Again, look at the images or the image and then go to your answers from there. If you're talking about practical tests, um, the only advice I give you with that is obviously to, I would take driving lessons um, so your instructor can point out bits and pieces to you and drive in the area you're taking the test. So if your test is in Birmingham, for example, go down to the test room and drive around some of the roads. So if there's any trick, tricky issues, you're aware of it. Lane changes, you're aware of it. Roundabouts, you're aware of it. So I'd practice in the area as much as possible. And that's my tip I would give you on that. Also, if you're using a driving instructor um, and it's local, they would know what the test route is. So you can actually do a test route and get used to um, parking up on the left, your maneuvers, car parks, stuff like that. Yeah, she passed last week. Well, I think I'm caught up with the comments and we on eight. There's the first one. D. Okay, most of you are going for these. Dio, I've not seen your name before, so welcome to you. Um. Right, uh, Marcy went for these, I think it was D. Visibility along the major road is restricted. Yeah, visibility is poor, so you have to stop. I will add, again, a little tip for you guys. Stop, for, this is for the driving side of it. Um, stop line on the driving test, you have to stop by law. The wheels have to stop turning, otherwise you're going to fail. Give way lines is just give way to traffic on the main road. So you don't have to stop at a give way line, but you must stop at a stop line. Uh, talking about a giveaway, which shape is used for a giveaway sign? Prince, that's not a problem. Help from the motorway. If that's the case, it's going to be study with me series. Um, there's, like I said, the, the categories in there, or better still, use the um, practice makes you better series playlist. Again, it's in there. That's a 30 question mock test. It's actually using the app itself to generate the questions. And with your test coming up soon, um, yeah, the quickest way to that is going to be um, the playlist. That's because all the lights are on at this time of year. Nine. 
I'm struggling. 19th of December, I'm struggling with hazard. hazard. I'm assuming you mean has perception, not has awareness questions. Again, watch the video um, that I've got on the channel and then review the video. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Angel, you've got, you're testing the 19th. Next week is the 11th. And then you've got the 18th, which is the last live. Well, that's a shame because I won't know whether you passed or not. Well, if it's on the 19th, it's on the Tuesday. Right. For those of you that are struggling with a hazard perception, you haven't got a test coming up next or this week, I will do a section for um, hazard perception. I'll do a live demonstration. There's enough of them on the channel, but you guys seem to be struggling with the hazard perceptions. I'm not understanding why. So if Angel, if you're around next week, join me live. I will do a live um, hazard perception um, test for you and anyone else who's struggling. There you go, Toby. I had my ferry test the 29th, was able to book my practical for the 20, all 29s on December the 29th. That'd be a nice little end of the year if you can pass your driving test. Let me know what part of the country you're taking your test. Evo, congratulations on passing your theory. Nine, right, here's the first one. D, D. Yeah, most of you are going for D. The giveaway sign is an upside down triangle. The reason why it's upside down is so when it's covered in bad weather, it's visible. So you know it's a not a warning triangle, it's gonna be a giveaway. That's the same thing for the octagon with this one, C, which is a stop sign. There's only two that's unique in the highway code like it. So it's going to be D for those of you that ticked it. And you guys can see that. Right, where would you see these road markings? Forty seven fifty two. I was just hearing your voice all the time in my all the time my first time. When my people say that, especially on the driving test, I hear your voice when I was driving. It means my job is done because it's sunk in, you're taking the information in. <laughs> but thanks for letting me know that. And Deary, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Um welcome. I need help with the motorway and has a perception right on the 30th of December. Motorway, like I said, that's part of the playlist. Um, it's a bit more detailed than that because I'm not going to be able to do motorways now or on the lives, to be honest. And if you join me next Monday, that's the 11th, um, you can get an idea of the has perception. But I would suggest you practice between now and then. Don't wait till the 11th. Um, as I keep saying to everyone at the moment, is when you do the videos, review the video back to see where you are clicking, why you're clicking too early or why you're clicking too late. Oh, Sons in Wells, okay. Apparently the pass mark in Wells is um, not too bad from what I've been told or the articles I've been reading recently. So hopefully um, the 29th goes well for you. And not only that, the bonus of doing it on the 29th Technically, the road should be a lot quieter. So you shouldn't have too many hazards to deal with. So it's not a bad time of year to be taking it. <laughs> That's the reason why, Bianca. But more this time of year than any, and than any others. Um, what are we on, 10? AJ asked, it always seems to be the first one. It looks like you've got a decent um, internet connection or... You just type in really quick. Right, again, most of you have gone for D's. Daily inspiration, I've not seen your name before, so welcome to you. I love that, daily inspiration. Yeah, I'll do it next week. I'm not set up for it. My iPad and the special scene that I need is not set up for it today. Um, 
So I'll definitely set it up for next week. But again, in the meantime, still study for it. Again, another one studying for has perception. Right, you look on for these. It's, these are speed humps. Otherwise known as traffic calming measures. On what type of road surface may anti-lock brakes be ineffective? Is that why you've got quick fingers in terms of typing? How's the studying really going for you? Have you got a test date? Since you've been studying a lot, have you got a test date yet? <laughs> Not a problem. Damn, AJ, you're, you're that quick. Your, your answers, actually, I'm not going to put it on screen yet, but your answers literally come through. Frank, how are you? Hopefully you're well and keeping safe. Right. <laughs> um, again, most of you are going for C's. Put loose. Um, yeah, so that's when they say loose, they're talking about sand, gravel, that type of thing. Anti lock brakes do not work on, properly on those type of surface. What can people who live or work in towns and cities do to help reduce urban pollution levels? I'm glad it worked for you, Toby. I just hope you passed your driving test on the 29th. Like I said, it'd be a nice end of year for you. Well, let us know when the live starts up again in the new year, how you got on. But I've got my fingers crossed for you on the 29th. But I said, it's a good time of year to be taking a driving test. Roads are quiet. Again, most of you are going for all double barrels, 11C, 12C. JC loves spilling them out, walk or cycle. Again, 12C. Yeah, I'm fine, Frank. Really good. Yeah, most of you have gone for Cs, which is, yeah, walk or cycle, save the environment, don't burn fuel unnecessarily. Why is it important to wear? We had the conversation last week about wearing, um, not wearing, going barefoot. And here's the question. Why is it important to wear suitable shoes when you're driving? So those of you that was here last week, the conversation about not wearing shoes at all. Zinat, my very test is to welcome first and foremost. I've not seen your name before. Um, test is tomorrow. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed for you that you pass it. So good luck with that. Nerves is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. I keep saying this, um, say it to my pupils all the time. Nerves is not a bad thing. It's a good thing, providing you control the nerves. It's natural. We all get nervous regardless. When I have my check test and examiner comes and sits in the back of my car, I still get nervous and I've been doing it for years. Um, it's not an issue. The main thing is that you know your stuff and, and you can stay calm in there. And um, when the people says to me they don't get nervous, it worries me because you need the nerves to get the adrenaline, just keeps you focused a little bit more. But hopefully it goes well for you tomorrow. But anytime you feel stressed in there, just take a step back, breathe, get, give the brain some oxygen and then go again. Any questions you're not sure of, flag it, move on and then go back to the flagged ones. And remember what I always say if you've been watching my videos, safety 
safety and safety I passed first time 2009, but since that's expired, I have to give it a good. Uh, yeah, um, it'll last for two years, 2019. Was that because of COVID because it expired, or was that um, just you not getting around to passing the driving test? Which one? Um, right, again, most of you are going for the same answer. Again, most, yeah, most of you are going for, oh, someone's got a 13A on that one. Um, right, let me just take a look at the 13A. Why is it important to wear suitable shoes when you're driving to enable you to walk for assistance if you're broken down? That's got to be a misclick. Surely you didn't put that as the correct answer. And what did you guys go for? D, to maintain control of the pedals. Yeah, shoes, suitable footwear is going to give you control of the pedals with that. What's the, right, here we go. Let's see if you guys actually talk not what I said earlier on. What's the national speed limit for a car or motorcycle on a motorway? So let's see how many of you was listening. Oh, Harry, you got your test tomorrow. Um, wish you luck with that. Hopefully it goes well for you. That's no problem. Hopefully it's going to do you justice tomorrow when you go for your test. Um, as long as you pass, that's the main thing. <laughs> Just don't type as quick tomorrow or answer your question as quick tomorrow. Take your time. Remember, you've got 57 minutes. It matters tomorrow. So take your time, read the questions carefully. Read the answers carefully. Um, as much as you've been studying a lot, remember it's going to be different questions worded slightly differently. So you need to get the gist of the question they're asking. So take your time tomorrow on AJR. I wish you luck with that. Thank you for your kind words and hopefully um, I'd love to see you keep coming back to the lives to be honest even if you've passed but I fully understand you've passed you don't need it anymore but um, yeah I just wish you luck with that but let us know how you get on well we're not really on 14 I don't see the 14s coming through there we go first one Again, most of you are going for the same answer, so it's probably going to be correct. So it looks like most of you was listening. Uh, what's the national speed limit for a car on a motorcycle? Car on a motorway is going to be 70 miles an hour. Yes, it's the... When may you drive without wearing your seatbelt?
Congratulations, Charlotte, on passing. Thank you for coming back and letting us know. What's your, what you're going to do next? Driving lessons or book a driving test? Sonette, Sonette, some love to you. Kenzie's just passed. A lot of you passed your tests. Um, well done to all of you that's doing that. Um, Kenzie's just passed. Again, well done to you. Again, what's your next step? Driving lessons or a driving test? 40 out of 50 is high score, decent. 62 out of 75, again, is a high score. Well done. The same I'd say to everyone, the hazard perception is two click methods. See a problem, the hazard is, um, you're looking for the developing hazard, anything that's going to cause you to slow down or change direction. Um, once you see the problem, click and you count one, two and click again. So go for the two click method. Also, I will add on the real test when you go for it tomorrow, I believe your test is. Um, the clips are all CGI's, so it's not the real life clips, so it's really clear on their end and it's slightly slower, so you've got plenty of time to see the hazard and go for the two click method. But if you haven't seen my detailed video on the channel, then quickly watch that before tomorrow. Send that some love to you, AJR. Yeah, another one who's passed. Well done to you guys. I'm loving that. Strong finish to the year. Right, what are we on? 15. Here they come, here they come, here they come, here we are. And again, it's like you guys are going for D's. Okay, most of you are going for these. Yeah, um, when reversing, you can remove your seatbelt. If it's on a driving test, just don't forget to put it back on when driving off. Me personally, I wouldn't take it off on the driving test, but if you need to, you can legally. But just don't forget to put it back on when you are driving off. Right, you guys can see that. Which, which type of vehicle does this sign apply to? I look into the driving lessons. Um, yeah, I wish you luck with that. I would try to source a driving instructor before the end of the year. Try to get them booked in. If you're looking to take driving lessons straight away, that is. Um, try to get them booked in because driving instructors are going to be really busy. Um, although they are busy at the moment. And then come New Year, it goes quiet for a little bit. So you may get a slot and then it picks up again after January. Not seen your name before, Rygats. Welcome to you. Angeline, I'm not seeing your name before, so welcome to you. Are you saying hello to everyone as well? Sylvia. I don't understand why I was getting for you in practice, I'm going to fail. As I said, just part because you're passing the mock test, it doesn't mean to say you're going to pass the real test because the real test has different type of questions. And sometimes you guys just do mock tests after mock tests and not studying the categories. And the reason why I'm saying that because on the categories, there's 779 questions. If you're just doing 50 questions, it's only 50 from the 779. That's why I suggest doing all the categories and not just mock tests, because there may be questions that you've never seen on the app, which means you're never gonna get the understanding of it. And that could be the reason why. But you said you've got another one booked. That you don't say when, but you said you've got another one book, so hopefully you'll get it next time round. Sonette, 
16. There we go. Right, again, most of you are going for this, the same answer, so it's all six C's at the moment. Um, Dill, I've not seen your name before, so welcome to you. We need to put the number of the, um, the question, by the way. You've got C, I'm assuming it's 16 C is what you meant. So those of you just turned up, right, guess another one. You need to put the number of the question, i.e. 16, and then the letter afterwards. Okay, um, you guys have gone for C. All right, C, A, B, C, high vehicles. Yeah, the arrow's up and down, so it suggests height. What's the nearest you make? This came up today. In the class, what's the nearest you may part to a junction? Sorry, um, was it Sylvia? I will add as well, if you got 42 out of 50, Right, you've got 42, so you've got eight questions wrong. Um, as I always say to everyone, re-study those categories they told you you've got questions wrong in. Um, and I will stress again, if it's, again, you've got another one booked, so I don't know how long you've got before you can before you take it. If it's um, motorways, road signs, hazard awareness, question section, they're massive, so you need to brush up on those big time. And your hazard perception... is 44 out of 75 and again you're scraping that so you're getting a lots of threes and fours and maybe even ones twos and maybe zeros so again you need to brush up on that as well because it's going to be a different set of questions when you go in there and some of the video clips may be different as well so i would brush up on everything on that so just be aware 17. Can't see any. Uh... Can't see your 17s. There we go. Um, right, 17A. A, someone's got C, A. Okay, most of you are going, Harry, you got 18, we're not on 18 yet. I'm assuming you mean 17, by the way. Yeah, most of you are going for A's. Um, yeah, should not park within 10 meters of a junction. It causes buses, lorries, an issue getting in and getting out. And plus I would never leave my car near a junction. There's some mad drivers out there who'll hear it. Um, who's legally responsible for ensuring that a vehicle registration certificate otherwise known as the V5C document is updated? So who's legally responsible? Where do I get, where do I get to do the categories, please? Dela, the cat if you're using the app, the, cat the categories on the app, you can go in the settings. If you're using the driving test success app that I recommend, you can go in the settings and it's got the individual categories and then you can do all categories separately and then go to mock test and it gives you questions from each category to make up the 50. Um, if it's books, it should be categorized on that, but if you're using apps, it should be in the settings and go from there. Right, you booked for the third of January. So you're giving yourself a bit of time to restudy, which is good. Um, 
I was asked if you're on a two-way motorway, two-way motorway, and one lane's closed, when should you merge? I would need to see the options on that um, to know exactly what they're asking because you've got a two-lane motorway. I'm not sure why they're saying a two-lane motorway because when they talk about motorways, it's normally three lanes they refer to. So I would need to see the exact question. And that's what I'm talking about. This question, I can tell you now, is not in the app. That's actually a proper theory test question. But I would need to see it word for word so I know the context they're asking it in um, with that. So I can't give an answer to that one, I'm afraid. But again, I put this one up for you guys to see. I will repeat, this question is not in the app. No shape, not even a question like it in the app. And I know for that because I'm actually doing working through a course with all the questions and that's not in there. But I do know they do ask something similar on the real test, but they don't refer to it as a two lane motorway. So I would need to see the exact question so I know the context because the context would determine the answer. Right, we on on 18. Let me see if I can find you guys. They can't find you. If I find you, do, 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 do. there we go. First one, that AJR. 18 B again. Looks like from first class. You guys are going for Bs. Yeah, most of you are going for Bs, I don't see a difference on here. And the question, who's legally responsible? And it's you guys going for Bs. Yeah, the registered vehicle keeper. Um, is it? Get it back up. Yep, it's going to be B. Um, let's set this back, you guys can see that. What does this sign mean? Pass my very test. Aku, well done to you for passing. Thank you for coming back and letting us know how you got on. Appreciate that. As long as it doesn't matter if you caught me live or not, as long as it helps you out, that's the main thing. So congratulations. Not understanding that question. What if you forget the flag questions at the end? Any reminders? What do you mean? Do you forget to go back to the flag questions? It will ask you, if that's what you're talking about, whether you forget to go back to the flagged ones, it will ask you, do you want to review your flagged questions of flagged answers? Click yes, and it takes you back to the flagged ones. So you can't forget. It's going to remind you. They know you're under pressure, so they give you all the options possible. Um, just click yes, and then go back and flag. Unflag them, sorry, once you realize you're happy with the answer that you've got. What are we on 19? Right, there we go, first one out. Again, AGR is always the first one. And again, most of you are going for Right, what was B? Right hand lane close off. Yeah, just in case you guys didn't realize, um, left hand lane is that I hope you can see my mouse and middle lane, and the right hand lane is closed off. You've just been overtaken by this motorcyclist. What should you do if a rider cuts in sharply? And again, for those of you who turned up halfway through or towards the end of the live, um, on the 18th, I will be setting the questions, um, thought-provoking questions, not questions and answers from 
the app itself. I want to make sure you guys are fully understanding um, the questions and answers, basically. And next week, for those of you who are struggling with the hazard perception, I will do a live demonstration with the hazard perception next week. So if you are struggling with hazard perception, join me next week. And hopefully I can help you out. But I will suggest don't wait till next week. Still practice. Um, and hopefully you're getting better um, with each practice session. And I hopefully I can just make it a lot clearer next week. That's the way it goes sometimes. But like I said, from our, the feedback from my pupils, they always get about five or six questions that they've never seen before. But because they've been trained on how to pick the right answer, it doesn't really matter to them. They're going to pass anyway. And it's 20, the last one. AJR. And again, Caroline, again, straight away by the looks of this, you guys are all going for A. Yeah, most of you are going for A's. Not most, all of you are going for A's to be fair. My life is making sure. Right. It's going to be a, so if they overtake you, cut in sharply, keep a safe gap. Um, so it's safe enough for you to stop in comfortably with that. Right, so um, that's it for this week. I, like I said, on the 18th, I'm really looking forward to the 18th now because I think these are getting easier and easier each week. And I'm going to set some difficult questions for you guys to make sure you think outside the box. So those of you, like I said, who are struggling with hazard perception, um, join me next week. Let me come out of this one. Can't see. Oh, the 20th. Oh, that's ideal for you, isn't it? What's that, Wednesday? Um, yeah, definitely come and join on the 18th. Get you thinking next week, if you can. Join as well. But like I said, I will be setting the questions, getting you guys to think outside the box. So I'll be looking forward to see you, Dilla. Simply means just um, saying well done to everyone. So that's sending some love to all you guys. I love when you guys are thanking each other and wishing each other luck. Um, right, so if you guys got no more questions, so now, listen, hopefully it goes well for you tomorrow. I really do. But come back next week and let us know how it goes with that. So... For those of you who got a test this week, I'm wishing you luck. Hopefully it goes well. For those of you who got tests coming up, study hard. If you've got any questions, pull it down on the piece of paper. Come next week, pull it in the chat. Remember, if you are struggling with the hazard perception, come and join me live next week and I will do that for you. And if you can't make it next week, put the 18th in your diary. As I said, I will be setting the questions, thought-provoking questions. That's going to make you think outside the box. I remember what I said at the beginning of the video. If some of you are interested in coming on live just to be on screen, have a little bit of fun, nothing too heavy, send me an email. And if I decide to do it, I'll send you the link before we go live and we'll be on live on screen talking to everybody out in the YouTube land. But other than that, I will see you guys next week. Stay safe, study hard, and I will catch you next Monday, 4.30 as usual. Take care.